This is a male midshipman. It is a fish. As you can see, it's sort of a purpley brown. This is its mouth, eye, another eye, its two fins on the side. This fish is exposed right now at a low tide, and it's adapted to survive a, a while, maybe a couple of hours. Unfortunately, people come along and move these fish or touch them, and they don't survive. This male fish has come in because it's looking for a place to build a nest. It wants a rock over top or a flat piece of metal. It will then attract a female who comes in and lays her eggs. This male then fertilizes the eggs. The female lays the eggs. This male fertilizes it. But there's another male called a sneaker male that is smaller and it comes in and fertilizes the eggs as well. This male is called the parental male. It sticks around and guards the eggs until they hatch. Unfortunately, it then dies because it has expended all of its energy on its spawn. The sneaker male, however, lives another year. This is a very unusual species in having these two kinds of males. Last year, here at Crescent Beach, there were two researchers from McGill University studying this fish as a psychology project, not a biology project. They were studying the specific behavior of these two males and how, why this species would have evolved this way. So it's a very interesting creature, and it is endangered on this beach by the many, many people who come to enjoy this beach. So what's important with this fish is, if you find it above the water line, don't put it down below because it's made a nest. It's found a hole that it likes. If you find it under a rock, put the rock back exactly the way you found it. The eggs are yellow and turn white after hatched, and here comes a dog. <laughs> so put the, rocks, put the rocks back over the fish the way you found them. <laughs>